This video will cover changing taps on an Ambrel EcoHeat power supply. Changing taps on an induction power supply is similar to changing gears on an automobile or changing the feed rate or spindle speed on a mill. No one setting is ideal for all applications. Ambrel has made this process easy as it can be accomplished with only a few simple steps and tools. The procedure assumes that you already have determined the system resonance and are trying to fine-tune your process. Tools required include a 10 mm nut driver or socket, 13 mm nut driver or socket, and a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver. We'll begin by looking at how much power is being produced and what the percent matches at that power level. In this condition, we have the machine and the water turned on, so we'll now hit interlock reset. Once we've reached the home screen, it is then ready to produce power. We don't really know in this condition how much power is going to be produced. So we're going to start on the lowest tap, which is tap 11 in this case, and the screen is also set to that value, tap 11. We also mechanically have the transformer set to 11, which we'll demonstrate later. We've selected a relatively low amount of voltage, 200 volts, and that's out of a maximum of 446 volts. We'll now hit start. In this case, we've tuned and locked in on 200 volts. We can see that our percent match is 64%. That indicates we could go up in the transformer multiple taps and use more voltage if needed. It should be noted that this might be perfectly fine for your application. If you are producing good parts and it's getting hot fast enough for your application, then it would be just fine to leave it here. However, in this case, we want to produce maximum power, so we need to go up. I'm now going to turn it off. Because I'm fairly far away from a 100% match or maximum available power, I'll need to go up a few taps. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the RF by hitting stop. The power is turned off to our EcoHeat. And now at our disconnect box, we're also going to turn the power off. And as always, we lock out tag out. Here, we're going to use the 13 millimeter socket or driver to move up two taps from tap 11 to tap 13. You can see here we have taps 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. All right, and now we've moved up to tap 13. We're going to remove our lockout and then reapply power. Now we're going to engage power to the eco heat. Once again, Interlock reset. Now, you should always go to the workhead config menu and make sure this value we have for the transformer tap matches what is physically connected. If we don't do that, the values we're reading as power and the percent match won't be correct. Now we're ready to try again, but on tap 13. In this case, we'll leave it at 200 volts and see where we're at. Our match has gone up to 94, which is very good. It should be noted that the load changes with heat. Depending on what you're trying to heat, it is very common for that number to move as the part is getting hotter, and it could move in either direction depending on the material and how close the part is. In any event, 
we're almost at a perfect match. 100% would be ideal in terms of efficiency, although it doesn't necessarily make a difference in terms of making good parts. If it works at 50% match or at 108% match, that is fine depending on your requirements. But in most cases, customers want to be as close to 100% as possible as it's most efficient and helps the part heat as quickly as possible. At this point, I can increase it, and I can see my power is increasing. Ideally, if my match is exactly 100%, when I reach the VMAX, in this case 558 volts, I'll be at exactly 100 kilowatts, which is exactly what this machine is capable of producing. As you can see here, 99 and 99. If you had excess power, if it was over 108%, you'd be getting a limit light, and it would tell you you've reached maximum power, and it will start cutting back the power. In that situation, you'd want to go down a tap. So if I was pulling 108% match on tap 13, I'd want to go down to tap 12. The machine will protect itself. And that concludes today's training video.